Welcome to Today in Sneaks. I am your host, Jacques Slade, and today Adidas and Nike poured on the sneaker information. So with that being said, let's start with Jordan brand. I actually talked about the Mellow 10 the other day, but it is just now getting official. The model features the flight plate that I love to play in. It looks like a mix of the 28 SE and the Superfly 2. The shoe is set to launch in the NYX colorway, but Jordan Brand teased us with a black as well as a gray colorway of the shoe. Look for the Mellow 10 to hit on January 4th for $175. All right, now it's time for some sneaker stuff, science stuff that I don't necessarily understand, but I'm going to tell you anyway, because I think it's really cool. A designer in London created a 3D printed shoe made out of protocells. Besides the fact that I don't know what protocells are, yay American education, the shoes will theoretically fit like a second skin and will be custom printed. Created by Seamus Adden, if that is his or her real name, the shoes are 3D printed from a synthetic biological material that can repair itself overnight. In my mind, that basically means that these shoes are Logan from the X-Men, but we don't have to worry quite yet because they will not be into production until theoretically the year 2050. Jumping back from the future to the past, Adidas today announced a retro of the Crazy One. Impeccable timing aside, the Adidas Crazy One makes its first appearance since 2006, though it was originally released back in 2001. The model takes its styling cues from the Audi TT, such as the curved modeling and midfoot arch. The Kobe sneakers, sorry, the Crazy One, will return in a bright yellow and black colorway complete with yellow laces. Look for the Adidas Crazy One to return on December 26th for $125 at adidas.com as well as Shoe Palace. And finally, tis the season to be jolly, and it looks like Nike basketball is getting us all in the holiday spirit. And now today, we get an official look at the KD6, Kobe 8, and the LeBron 11 Christmas. Both the LeBron 11 and the KD6 take the most direct approach to the Christmas season, but it is the Kobe 8 that has the biggest impact for our design goals. It looks like the snake skin on the, uh, on the engineered mesh upper is actually peeling, which is crazy. Now, Nike designers also took the collection up to the next level by making lace locks that can be transformed into Christmas ornaments. As you can imagine, these will be limited, but they will be releasing on December 26th at select Nike basketball accounts. Christmas is going to be crazy. So uh, if you haven't already, make sure you like, favorite, and subscribe. That way you know whenever something awesome is happening here on this channel. And always, don't forget, the links are down in the description to everything that I talked about today. Make sure you click those if you want to find out more. Well, I am your host, Jock Slade. This is Today in Sneaks. Click in here somewhere for something random, and I will see you soon. Peace.